you saw how it went. You know, not a lot of uh, not a lot of change. And it was just really hard to grip the disc. Uh, people were slipping. So yeah, I mean. Uh, yeah, it was really important to get you know those two first rounds a good one. Did you feel good going into today after yesterday's throw though that you could Absolutely. get one? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was my PR yesterday. Yeah. Um, kind of finally feeling uh, how to throw at that distance. Um, didn't really get it today, but with the weather adversity, I still think I did pretty good. Yeah. Have you been back in Lawrence training leading up to this? Yeah. So, yeah. what was it that prompted you to go back there? Um, well. I don't know. I, I wanted to be close back with my mom and my family back there. Um, I, I just kind of figured out that family is like, you know, really huge support staff, you know, and you, you definitely need it. And um, got back with my coach. He said he would train me again. And, you know, we've been rolling ever since. When did you go back there? I went back there uh, last year in February or sometime like that. Yeah. So was there a big, you know, any kind of technical change that went with that, or did you basically keep doing what you'd been doing before? There was there was technical changes. I mean, we're still looking uh, to change a couple of things. Uh, probably not this year, but definitely, uh, you know, in the fall and stuff like that. But yeah. I saw a reference that you feel a little better with your footwork, having dropped some weight over the last year. Yeah. Really made them? Yeah, definitely. You know. Um, there was a point where I was weighing like 437 and uh, couldn't throw anything. You know, it was pretty rough. Uh, injuries with my back, uh, stuff like that. And right now I'm sitting at 350 and um, able to hold positions better, move faster, uh, you know, compete healthier. You were 437? Yeah, man, that was huge. Yeah. Good. <laughs> How was a guy like big and athletic as you, like not in the NFL? Like, did you play football? Or what's your background there? Um, you know, I played uh, football in high school, um, you know, kind of mediocrely, you know. <laughs> but um, my dad, he was a thrower, and so he, uh, he showed me to throw how to throw about sixth grade, I think. And um, we've been doing it all year round. It was just kind of a father-son thing, and I fell in love. and. Yeah, that was the story of that. So you lost about 80, 90 pounds? About, yeah. yeah. What was your diet? Over what time frame? Um, since 2013, so about three years. Yeah, yeah. And I, I mean, basically all I did was just educate myself on nutrition, figure out what, what am I doing, you know. Um, and uh, during the fall season, I'll do a lot of cardio, and that was, yeah, no real secret there. Didn't go vegan or anything? Or did you expect? A good performance here? I expected Winning a good maybe? performance, you know. Um, I didn't really bog myself down with uh, what does everything mean, you know. I was just like my coach told me, he's like, you just have to do the technique, you know, and that's that was the main focus, yeah. Just keeping with it. Whatever happens, happens. Yeah, and when it happened, uh, when it's happened, yeah, it's huge, man. So definitely a huge relief and, uh, you know, but at the same time, you know, we got to gear up because that throw isn't going to hold very well at Rio. So, you know, we got to we gotta put on... Um, you know, the afterburners here and finish out the season strong. You, you've been improving pretty steadily over the last two and a half months or so. Um, right. Do you feel like you're peaking at the right time? Or, or I guess so, are yeah. Are you surprised I mean, with this progress over the last few months? I was definitely surprised with my throw yesterday. You know, I think I definitely attribute uh, the rain to that throw because it slowed me down, you know, at a point where I wasn't able to hit, you know, basically move out of position. And so I think it just put me right on track, you know, being calm and collected. And uh, so I, I guess I'm kind of fortunate that it kind of did that yesterday. And uh, we have definitely a, a good idea of where to go and how to prepare for Rio.